guess the situation. You've been thrown back in time thousands of years to the Stone Age. You're one of a group of cave people who've been captured by a rival tribe of cannibals. The cannibals are about to put you all in a big cooking pot to boil you up for dinner. You have only one chance of survival. The cannibals need one cave person to help them keep count of their clubs and stone axes. To decide which cave person lives, they set a difficult multiplication problem. The cave person who solves it first will be spared the cooking pot. You have no calculator, no smartphone, no computer. What are you going to do? Call the multiplication guy. It's time to multiply with the multiplication guy. I'm going to show you an easy way to solve difficult multiplication problems. For example, 77 times 778. If you have a pen and a piece of paper, you can work along with me. The first thing you need to do is draw a box. Subdivide the box into two columns, because the first number, 77, has two digits. You also have to subdivide the box into three rows, because 778 has three digits. You end up with a box subdivided into six smaller boxes. Next, draw a diagonal line through each of the six small boxes. You might find you can draw a diagonal through more than one of the smaller boxes at a time. That's step one. Draw a box. Subdivide it into smaller boxes and draw diagonals through them. Next, write the first number, 77, along the top of the box, so each digit lines up with a column. Write 778 down the right-hand side of the box, so each digit lines up with a row. Now we're ready to do some multiplication and fill in the blanks with our answers. You'll need to know your times tables. If you're stuck, you can look up a multiplication chart. But you can't use a calculator because there were none in the Stone Age. I'm just going to start multiplying and show you how to fill in the blanks. Let's start with the top right-hand box. But actually, it doesn't matter where we start. 7 times 7 is 49. Put the 4 above the diagonal and the 9 below. Now, I've just spotted something. Three other boxes can be filled in with the same answer because they also involve 7 times 7. That just leaves the boxes in the bottom row. 7 times 8 is 56. The last box can be filled in with the same answer, because that also involves 7 times 8. Done. That's step 2. Multiply and fill in the blanks with your answers. Finally, we're going to add up the numbers along the diagonals. The first diagonal only has one number, 6. So write 6 directly below the diagonal. The next diagonal has three numbers, 9, 5 and 6. For this diagonal, I'm going to show you a trick that can make adding numbers up easier. I like adding numbers that sum to multiples of 5 or 10. I can see that 9 plus 6 equals 15 plus 5 equals 20. Write the 0 below the diagonal and carry the 2 over to the next diagonal. I'm going to use the same trick in the next diagonal. 2 plus 9 plus 4 is 15. Plus the 5 at the bottom is 20. Plus the 9 is 29. Write the 9 next to the diagonal and carry the 2 across to the next diagonal. 4 plus 2 is 6. Plus 4 is 10. 
plus 9 is 19. Write the 9 next to the diagonal and carry the 1 over to the next diagonal. 1 plus 4 is 5. So write 5 next to the diagonal. Now we just read off the answer. 5, 9, 9, 0, 6. 77 times 778 equals 59,906. I'm going to check the answer on my calculator, but I'm allowed to do that because I'm not living in the Stone Age. 77 times 778 equals 59,906. So the answer's correct. That's why they call me the Multiplication Guy.